In this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to get custom capes in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. A lot of you guys had asked for an updated tutorial since my previous one is a year old now, so here we are. This new updated skin pack has over 500 custom capes as well, so without further ado, let's start with the video. First of all, before doing anything, you're going to want to open up your file explorer. Click the top where it says view, and then make sure both of these boxes here have check marks in them, or else these next steps will not work properly. Also make sure you are an administrator on your computer. Next, you're going to want to download this Islebit Unlocker setup if you don't have the software installed on your PC already. Double click to open it, and it will take you through a quick setup. I'm going to skip that since I already have it installed, but once you have successfully downloaded Iobit, this icon should appear on your desktop. Next, you're going to want to get the custom capes pack folder. The zip file for this can be found in the description of the video. Once you download it, just double click it and drag the folder onto your desktop. Now, if you want to use your own skin with all of these capes, get the PNG file of your skin that you either made or got from the internet and name it bionic.png in all lowercase letters. Drag the skin file into the custom capes folder and this message should pop up. Just click replace and you'll be all good to go. Next, if you have your own cape that you want to use, get the PNG file of it and rename it to blankcape.png and make sure the B and the C are capitalized. Then do the same thing as before and drag this file into the folder, click on replace, and then your cape is added into the skin pack. Now open Islebit Unlocker. First, you're going to want to make sure you are on version 1.1. If it asks you to update, be sure to select no or else you will have to uninstall and reinstall Islebit. Click on add once it opens, then on your C drive, then the program files folder, scroll down a little bit to find Windows apps, scroll almost all the way down to the Microsoft.Minecraft UWP folder, then choose data, skin packs, and finally persona. After you click persona, choose OK, then click on this little arrow and choose unlock and delete. Click OK and exit Iobit. Now right click on your desktop, choose new, and then click on folder. You're going to want to name this folder Persona in all lowercase, and once you've done that, open Iobit again. Once Iobit is open, drag the folder you just made inside of the window. Click the arrow again, but this time choose Unlock and Move. Now go through that same file path as before. Choose the C drive, Program Files. Scroll down a little bit to Windows Apps. Then scroll almost all the way down to Microsoft.MinecraftUWP. Choose data and then finally click on skin packs. Once you click that, choose OK and exit Iobit. Finally, open Iobit Unlocker one last time. You're also going to want to open the cape folder. Double click on the folder and then press the Ctrl and A keys on your keyboard at the same time. This should select everything, so just drag all of the files from the cape folder into the Iobit window. Now just wait for it to load. Once it loaded, click on the small arrow again, and this time choose Unlock and Copy. Choose your C drive again, then Program Files, scroll down again to Windows Apps, scroll all the way down to Microsoft.MinecraftUWP, then choose Data, Skin Packs, and finally Persona. Choose OK one last time and wait for it to finish loading. Once it's done, simply exit Iobit, and for the final step, you're going to want to download this skin pack bypass in the description, and then just double click it to open Minecraft. And as you can see, it is importing now. If it says it failed due to a duplicate pack, do not worry, it still worked perfectly fine and made a new skin pack called Minecraft Persona. Now go to the second tab of the skins menu and all of your capes will be there. I'm going to show you a few of them right now. As you can see, there are plenty that you can choose from. And if you scroll down a little bit more and find the blank cape, if you added your own personal cape, it will show up here. And as you can see, it is working perfectly fine in-game. Other people are able to see this too, which is very cool. 
You're also able to have custom elytras as well. However, you have to do a little trick or it will just look normal like this. All you have to do is go back into your skin menu, switch to the first tab, then to the fourth tab where the default capes are. And you can choose any of the capes here. I'm going to choose the pancake cape for now though. And then switch back to the second tab of the skins and then close the skin menu. And as you can see, the custom elytra is now working. Other players on Worlds and Realms can see this as well. And that is it for the tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it and that it was a little better than my one from a year ago. If you want to support me, feel free to subscribe or join using the blue button below. And other than that, thank you all again for watching.